Hello, it's Marion Stewart, and I'm here with the third part of the series on choosing your journey through menopause. So I hope I've managed to convince you that it's a good idea to try the natural approach, but then once you've made that decision, you've got the next hurdle, and that is how on earth do you go about it? So I hear this all the time from women in my Facebook group, and sometimes they end up advising each other about what worked for them or what they tried and what worked for a time and then didn't work anymore. And you can go round and round in circles. And in fact, the research shows that very often these lovely packets that you see on the shelves in the high street stores don't necessarily contain what they say on the label. And that may sound shocking, and it was shocking to me when I first heard about it. But actually, some years ago, we were asked to recommend a product that contained supposedly 39 milligrams of isoflavones, which are the naturally occurring estrogen. And I was looking for the research to support it. And in the meantime, there was an independent analysis that was done on 40 isoflavone-rich supplements. And the results showed that only two of them out of 40 contained what they said on the label. And this particular supplement, which was supposed to contain 39 milligrams, only contained one. So it made me really upset and angry to think that women are going out with good intentions to help themselves, but they're end ending up being duped because they're not getting what they think they're getting. And so obviously that's not going to help them. So I tend to recommend supplements that have been through properly conducted clinical trials. And as I said before, everything I do is based on medical research. And it's really important because you're influencing your hormones. You're influencing what goes on inside your body. So just as we have to be careful about hormone replacement therapy, because there are some side effects, like for example, an increased risk in breast cancer, you could also take some natural supplements supplements that wouldn't perhaps be safe and effective. So the things that I use have been shown to be safe and effective in clinical trials, and that's really important. So you can find some of those products in my shop, and there's an ex explanation about why I use each particular supplement with some of the clinical research quoted there as well. So if you're looking for supplements, but getting through menopause is not just about taking a magic pill. And I want to emphasize that because I want to really limit your expectations. I don't want you to have unrealistic expectations that if you just swallow a pill, that's it, you're gonna be fine. Because there are so many things going on in your body at this life stage. You need to learn how to meet your needs. You need to get yourself back into good shape. And I always describe my program like a pie with different sections in it. And you need to take a piece, a taste of each piece of the pie to get yourself back into really good shape at the time of the menopause. And I talk much more about this in my virtual classes where I can explain exactly what's going on in your body. You can see how you can fool your brain into thinking that you've got normal circulating estrogen again with naturally occurring estrogen, which is mother nature's gift to us to help us to recover at the time of the perimenopause and the menopause and get ourselves back into good shape so that we can then carry on and also help ourselves to pre prevent things like dementia, osteoporosis, the bone thinning disease and heart disease in the long term, because they become much more of an issue once your estrogen levels fall, when your ovaries stop producing estrogen after the menopause. So we need to learn how to meet our needs to keep ourselves into really good shape. So once you've made the decision, then the next thing you've got to do is find the science-based information that works for you. So there are a number of ways you can do this. You can do it through self-help. So I have every week, I do a film like this, or I have a newsletter, I have these virtual classes. There are lots of free ways, and I have a, a Facebook group as well. But if you feel you need more help, there's a structured self-help program, my 14-day program. And I also have my lovely six-week boot camp where women come together and I work with them hands-on. I help them to create their programs. We get together every week. They have a private group they can come to. So if you feel you need more hands-on help, then you can come and join the boot camp as well. So lots of different ways that you can get help. It's just finding the right kind of approach that's going to work for you because everyone has a different lifestyle. We have different tastes. Sometimes people have got time to do exercise and relaxation. Sometimes they haven't. They have to build it into their lives. There are lots of different sneaky ways that you can get yourself established on a really good program 
so that you can feel better than you can remember. So join me next week. I'm going to be talking more about this. And also, if you fancy coming to one of my virtual classes, just go to my website. You can sign up for that and come and get your questions answered live and come and find out exactly how you can journey through menopause so that you come out the end of it feeling better than you can remember.